In this video, we will take an in-depth look on the Knock Shield for Arduino, compare it with some of the more commercial alternatives, and how you can use it for your own do-it-yourself knock monitor. We will not get into the very details of knocking, but I do recommend everyone involved in automotive technology to buy the Bosch Automotive Handbook. In short, knock occurs when fuel is ignited by the compression rather than the spark ignition causing rippled pressure waves proportional to the bore size of the cylinder, giving it a distinctive sound and frequency, detectable by a microphone. Such microphones is called knock sensors, which typically come in two types, resonating and non-resonating. As we can see in one of the patents for a resonating sensor, they come pre-tuned for a certain knock frequency and thus can only be used for that particular engine, whereas a non-resonating sensor is universal but requiring an electronic filter to distinguish the knock sound from an engine noise. Simplified, the sound produced by an engine is recorded by a microphone and filtered electronically to detect knock. Let's compare some of the commercial options available. You'll find the links in the description below. First off, here's an option from eBay called Knock Gauge for Detonation Sensor for 79 US dollars. A very simple device with 5 LEDs and a sensitivity adjustment. Unclear if it only adjusts the amplification. There is no trigger and probably works best with a resonating knock sensor. Next up is the KS4 by Formula selling at 295 pounds. This one is more sophisticated and you can adjust both the frequency of the filter as well as the gain of the sensor. But looking through the connections, there is actually no trigger input. Not to be confused with a trigger output. This means there is nothing telling the knock monitor when to start and stop the measurements. This means it is constantly measuring but have no idea when or from what cylinder the knocking occurs. It is the same performance you get out of the box with the knock shield for Arduino and with the price currently at 100 US dollars plus shipping, it is very affordable in comparison. This device from Plex Tuning called the Knock Monitor V2 is the most sophisticated, but also comes with the highest price of 799 euros. Here's why. This device actually has a proper trigger input, where you can connect it to the injector outputs, the tachometer outputs or any of the ignition outputs. This means it knows when to measure and at which cylinder. Now let's see what we need to do to the knock shield for Arduino to give it an external trigger input like the knock monitor from Plex Tuning. This is a simple Arduino tax signal generator. The potentiometer changes the speed accordingly. As a four-stroke engine required two turns per power cycle, a four-cylinder fires every half turn. Here is the software to generate such a signal. And as you can see, the timing changes as I turn the potentiometer. Note that this is a 5-volt signal, but most tax signals are 12-volt or higher. Make sure you use the appropriate voltage dividers. Using the knock shield connected to the tax signal and some enhanced software functionality, it reconfigures the SPU or the DSP depending on the engine speed. The result, as you can see when we turn on the signal generator, is a do-it-yourself knock monitor that gives a stable output over the whole range of engine speeds. It is triggered by the ignition firing sequence and with an additional crank signal, we can even detect individual cylinders. Since it is Arduino based, it also makes it the most configurable knock monitor on the market at a really competitive price. Thank you.